Good afternoon. My name is Jeff <clears throat> and welcome to my Tropical Garden channel. Today I wanted to talk about an easy method to graft avocados. It's really easy for beginners. Um, it doesn't even require a sharp razor knife or even a sharp knife. You can just use a basic pair of sharp uh, pruning shears, handheld pruning shears. Um, you do need a, uh, a seedling or a tree that you're going to graft onto. A lot of people have half seedlings that they've been growing in the windowsill. They put it into some potting soil and um, a couple months later it's big enough to graft. So what you need to do is get you some, uh, some budwood, a bud stick from somebody that's got a fruiting avocado tree. And um, so yeah, I wanted to show you, I've shown on other videos uh, different ways to graft. And number one, the wedge graft, that's my go-to. But there's other ways. And one of them that I wanted to show you today is, uh, I call it a diagonal graft. I don't know the technical term for it, but I call it a diagonal graft. And it's, uh, like I said, you only have to use a pair of sharp shears and some tape and uh, you can graft that way. So let's come over here and take a look at what we have. We have the demonstration tree. This is Wilma. She's got four or five different varieties of avocados on it. I've already done the grafting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do some, uh, I'm going to take an uh, Mexico La Grande avocado budwood and I'm going to graft it onto Wilma. So let's take a look at what we got. We got the budwood. Here's how we do it. Let's prune off all these branches and leaves. It's a very easy way of doing things. Um, if you do it right, it, take, it has a large number of takes. So what we're going to do is we're going to find um, we're going to we're going to find one, an area that has a lot of buds on it, like this one does. So we're going to take about a five-inch piece. We're going to make a cut, a diagonal cut on it. Well, maybe we'll make a little bit more of a diagonal cut. I like a nice. That's pretty good. So as you can see, you can see the uh, the cambium layer. Most people don't are not getting where the cambium layer is. It's right there in between the uh, wood and the bark. So that's the cambium layer, and that that's the lifeblood of the. I call it the lifeblood of the uh, the tree. So that that has to match up whenever you're grafting. Let me cut it a little bit more after I messed with it. You just want to make one single cut. You want to make it diagonal. So then we're going to come over here and we're going to find a comparable sized piece of a branch. Let me see. Oh, here we got one. Um, let me see. Take that back. Here's one that's even better. I can get rid of this one so it doesn't run, hit my truck when it gets full of fruit. So. Uh, Here we go. So we're going to make an exact type uh, diagonal cut on this branch too. Oh, there's an avocado on there. So as you can see, we got a diagonal, maybe a little sharper cut on that. There we go. So as you can see, we got the, the two diagonal pieces. They match, you match the the uh, cuts together. So let's go over here, grab the buddy tape. We use buddy tape. You can use green tape if you want to. Grab us a piece of buddy tape. So bright out here, I can hardly see where I'm cutting. Let's take this one off. That's a big fruit. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the wrap. Start the top. And I wrap the uh, the bud stick so that it um, so that it stays uh, moist. The best time to graft is actually in the spring. I like to graft the best in April, uh, March, April, May. So here we go. We got two diagonal branches 
Oops. Hit the camera lady. So if I want to practice, I can just use any piece of wood I got. Yeah, right you know. Just laying down <clears throat> to practice the cuts. Exactly. Beginners, they're paranoid that they are going to mess it up and they only have one tree to practice on the first time. Well, you could take an orange tree branch or you could do whatever to make your practice cuts and uh, and graft them together. You know, they ain't gonna may not take, but if you, you know, you just wanna practice. Um, so there you go, just about. You wanna make sure those, the cambium layers are, are connected nice and accurately. Uh, gotta pull this buddy tape. This tape is really good for grafting. This is inexpensive. I think I got this for like eight bucks on eBay. Do you have to stretch a bit to get it to it, stick? It, yeah, it does. It does stretch to stick, and it's always best to start it stretching, uh, especially around the buds. That way, when the buds. So there we go. See how easy that was. Now. I would cover it with a little bit of, uh, I cover it with a little foil because it's in the direct sun. Um, and then after about a week, I, I uh, loosened up the foil and let some of the sun in. And usually in about two weeks, the thing starts pushing. So there we go. We grafted a Mexicola Grande onto a Wilma avocado tree using the simple method, easy for beginner grafters. My name is Jeff. Once again, thank you for making this channel a success. 1,000 subscribers. You have a good day.